Will ChatGPT be the demise of personal training as we know it? Hi, I'm Chrissy Van, and I'm the host of All Things Fitness and Wellness. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons behind my conclusion, plus one that entails a little bit of embarrassment at my expense. Before we get to it, be sure to hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about this technology, especially when it comes to the fitness space. By now, you've probably played around with OpenAI's ChatGPT tool, or at least are familiar with the craze. I'm 35 years old, and with the arrival of a free AI tool, I feel like I'm living in the future. Point in case, this was me in 1998. And that, my friends, was my very first caller ID. My mind was blown that I could actually see who was calling before I picked up my landline. So now in my third decade of life, I'm far distanced from the days of dial-up and I was ready to dive into this AI tool. Now when I open the site up, I find it slightly ironic that it asks me to verify that I'm a human. This is what the interface looks like. I kicked it off asking it to write me a four-week beginner workout plan with details on how to do each exercise. And then I provided some added context that I'm a 35-year-old female who weighs 132 pounds that wants to lose five pounds of body fat and gain lean muscle instantaneously, the plan starts to unfold. You can see it's got my squats, three sets, 10 reps. Start with your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outward, keep your chest up and core engaged, and then it just keeps going. I decided to ask if it could give me a complimentary meal plan, which it did, and when it wasn't specific enough, it even offered up the recipes. When it comes to supplements, it was a little more hesitant to give advice, but it did provide some guidelines when it comes to omegas, creatine, and protein. As you can see, it's relatively comprehensive. You can adapt its responses based on the information you feed it. So in short, can it generate workout plans, nutrition, and some supplement advice? Absolutely. For those that are just starting out and don't have a lot of money to invest in their goals, this could be a potential option. However, I don't think it's going to be the demise of personal training, and here's why. Let's insert the embarrassing story here. In 2016, I was ready to make a change. So I hired an online trainer that I found on Instagram. And this cost me $500. As you can see, this is a significantly less comprehensive training program that AI generated, but you wanna know the craziest part, it worked. And this brings me to my first point of why I don't think it will be the demise of personal training. And the primary issue is that it is free. Now you hearing that, you might think that's counterintuitive. If it's free, it means it's available and super accessible. All very true, but welcome to the sunk cost effect. Behavioral economists and psychologists know that we're more likely to consume a product or follow through when we know the cost spent. If you've made the monetary investment, you're more than likely to follow through with the task. And that's exactly what happened to me with this shred of paper. I'm not ashamed to admit that a lot of what drove me to getting these results was the fact that I didn't want it to seem like I had wasted my money on a few shreds of paper. And that leads me to point number two. As mentioned, one of the big reasons why I don't think this will take away from personal training is because of the fact that it is free. And we kind of already have the proof of that in the sense that we have more information available to us than ever. If you wanted to achieve this goal, you could have already done so. A little bit of research online and you could have easily generated similar plans to this. And you might be over there saying, okay, well there's discords and groups and chat groups that we can get together to motivate each other towards our goals. Well, that brings me to my final point here. You're a liar. Don't worry, I'm not being mean, I'm a liar too. Everyone is in denial about something and self-deception is a way that we lie to ourselves. It's something that's been ingrained in us through evolution and it's really a survival instinct as human beings to feel like we have a semblance of control over our environment. And this is why I don't think artificial intelligence can replace the results that an in-person personal trainer could. All you have to look at is the fitness trackers, my fitness pal, Fitbit. There are so many articles if you Google about how to hack your Fitbit to make it seem like you did the steps even though you didn't do them. You'll arm swing to get 10,000 steps just so that you look like you did so in a workplace challenge. Reality is we're only lying to ourselves and apparently we do that relatively often. Some of the additional points, of course, is that a certified personal trainer can really monitor your form. Even a tiny adjustment to a muscle movement that you're doing can help yield way greater results 
avoid injuries, find alternative solutions if you have some weakness in the body, improving those imbalances and weaknesses. And I think having a pair of eyes on you is really the best way to rectify those and get the most out of your training and get you to your results the fastest. Now that all said, the fact that it can generate a workout plan, give guidance on nutrition, and even give you the recipes to go along the way, I don't think is a bad thing. At the end of the day, this is a free way that could potentially help get somebody started on their fitness journey. And in a time where we know globally movement is severely lacking, I'm here for it. You've just watched All Things Fitness and Wellness, brought to you by Fitness World. Your fitness, your way. Visit fitnessworld.ca. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. We have new podcast episodes weekly. Plus, we're continuing our gym and wellness haven tours throughout the Pacific Northwest. Let us know in the comments where we should travel to next. We're on a mission for everyone to live a life fit and well.